kindergarten friends. So this week for social studies, our activity is called Me on the Map. And what we're going to do is we're going to look at our earth, right? Our globe. God created for us a big, big, beautiful earth for humans to live in. And in fact, there is over 7 billion people living on our earth. That is a lot of people. But one thing we also know is that God created each one of us very, very special. So in today's lesson, we are going to zoom in from the big picture of our big, big earth to the very small, special spot that you are and that we all are together on our globe. I'm going to be using something called Google Earth, which is just a website that anyone can go to. And we're going to start with our globe. We're going to zoom all the way into our special spot. Then we're going to get bigger and bigger until we're back to our globe. So then we're going to, from um, that special spot, we're going to look at St. John's, which is where we all come together. So we're going to look at St. John's, then we're going to kind of look more at our street, then we'll move to our city, our county, our state, our country, our continent, and then we will be back to our globe. Now, we talked a little bit earlier this year about our state of Colorado. We also talked about our country, United States of America. Last week, you learned about the seven continents of the world. So today, we're going to kind of put all that together um, in the lesson, and we're going to use Google Earth to see how that all comes together and how we can be in all those places at once. So please stay tuned for Google Earth. So here is what you see when you type in Google Earth into your web browser. You see a picture of the Earth in outer space. What you want to do is go up here into this search bar area and then type in, you can either type in your address at home or for my example, I'm going to use the school, St. John the Baptist Catholic School. So you type it in and then it locates it on the globe and actually zooms all the way in to where the school is. And then this is where you get to kind of have some fun. You can kind of play around with it a little bit. So I'm actually going to exit out of this. That not just makes it a little bit easier for me. So here is the school. And you can see here's some exercise equipment. Here is the path that we would normally take to go to lunch. The gym is over here. Our kindergarten classrooms are over in this area. So kind of along the edge here, that would be Mrs. West's room. And then Mrs. Urker's room would be kind of in this area next to Mrs. West's room. Over here, we can see the playground area. Here's the playground and the swing set is kind of next to it. We can see this is the car line loop where the cars would come pick up the students and then come through here. The church is over in this area. So it's really cool to be able to see everything from kind of an aerial view or from the sky. So here is our street. This is Emory Street, which is the address or the street that St. John's is on. Um, so then if we start zooming out, we can kind of get a bigger picture of where exactly we are on the globe. So it starts by just showing us our city. So here is the city of Longmont. I'm going to zoom out even a little bit more so we can kind of see or get an idea of the city limits. So here's the city of Longmont. And you can kind of see these busy areas are where the houses are. So here is where Longmont is. I'm going to continue zooming out and we'll start to see a couple more places, maybe some that you're familiar with. So now we can see here's Longmont, Boulder you guys might have heard of. We are in what's called Boulder County, which um, kind of follows this line. So it includes like Superior, Louisville, Lafayette. It cuts this way and includes Longmont, um, Lyons, and then it goes even into the mountains, which is it includes Allen's Park and Netherland. And then it kind of cuts up this way back around. And that is our area called Boulder County. So if I continue to zoom out, we'll see some other cities you might know. Denver is the capital of Colorado. I'm going to continue zooming out again. And we'll start to see our state. So here is Colorado. Sometimes you need to go down here too and just adjust the view of it because sometimes it's a little bit tricky. There we go. That's a little bit better. 
So here is the state of Colorado. And you can kind of, if you follow my mouse, you can kind of see the vague outline of our state, which is pretty much a square, maybe a little bit of a rectangle. So here's the state of Colorado. I'm going to continue zooming out, and then you'll see our country, which is called the United States. So these are all the states in our country, and it follows this border. You kind of watch my mouse, you'll see the border that is our country, the United States, which also includes Alaska and Hawaii, and I'll show you Alaska in a minute. When we continue zooming out, we start to see our continent. And you guys learned about continents last week. Here is our continent called North America. And it's all this land. Here's Alaska up here, which I said, which is part of the United States. It's just not connected to it. So all of this area is our continent, North America. And if you continue zooming out again, then you are back to our globe, the Earth. And that is where we are on the map. So now that you have seen my example of Google Earth, I encourage you guys with your parents to log on to Google Earth and find your own home, right? So you type in your address and then it zooms all the way in on your home and your street so that you can see exactly where you are on the globe. You will need mom and dad's help to kind of navigate and scroll. Sometimes it is kind of tricky, but it's really, really awesome to be able to see everything from an aerial view and see what that looks like on the globe. After you kind of play around on Google Earth, you're going to be completing your activity for this week um, called Me on the Map, and it's a PDF file that was shared with parents earlier this week. So go ahead and print that out. Next, you're going to cut out all the boxes, and once you cut out the boxes, you're going to create a flip book that looks like this. So you're going to start by just creating your flip book. You're going to put the biggest rectangle on the bottom, the shortest rectangle or the smallest rectangle on the top, I should say. Then I just put a couple staples in if you want to use tape or glue, whatever works best for you, whatever you have at home to create your flip book. Now let's get started. So I use the example of St. John the Baptist. You guys are you going to, are going to use the example of your home. So here's me on the map. If I Flip up this first tab, it says my street. So I wrote the address 350 Emory Street, which is our school's address. And then I just drew a picture of a road. Moving on, my city, we are in the city of Longmont. Now, if you live in Mead, Erie, Burford, that's okay. Wherever you live, go ahead and put your city. I drew a star because a lot of times when you're looking at a map, a lot of the cities will be either little dots or little stars, so it's up to you. And you don't have to draw pictures. Sometimes it gets a little bit tricky, especially near the end, but I decided to draw pictures. If you want to print off pictures, you can do that as well. My county, we are in Boulder County, and I just drew kind of a rough outline of what Boulder County actually looks like. Next tab says my state. We are in the state of Colorado. We're lucky because our state is easy to draw. It's just a rectangle. And I went ahead too and put our capital, which is Denver, kind of in the middle there. Next tab, my country, which is the United States of America. And I did my, my best to draw the United States of America. And the last page is my continent and I drew North America. That is the continent that we live on. Um, again, these last ones are kind of tricky. So if you want to print them off or if you don't want to draw them, that's okay if you just want to write the names of those. All right, everybody. So now get to work on your flip book.